Hi, today we're going to discuss about the recent issue of CrowdStrike and with a very amazing story. Imagine you have a car, that car you take every day from house to office. You're very concerned about your car, you're very concerned security about your car. So one day what happened, you basically install one security system in your car. Okay, that security system basically ensure that okay in your absence if someone tried to open the door it will not it will detect it will block if someone tried to break that glass and all that it will detect and try to block and that security system is very integrated in your car and when you start your car and all that that solution will work and then according to that it will work effectively. Now one day what happened the vendor has basically released one update for the security of the car. So now what happened that software which is in your car when getting a new update after that it creating some trouble and because it is so integrated in your car system when you're trying to start the car it doesn't work and your car got freezed. So what we used to do is a vendor has said that security company who basically said that boss uh, we have released one update and that basically create an issue so you have to take the car to the local shop and you have to remove those plugins and all that and then you can restart the car it will work now just imagine this is your one single car now just imagine you have a 10,000 car you have a thousands car manually you have to do all those things and this was a similar issue happened today with CrowdStrike now CrowdStrike basically have a solution called CrowdStrike Falcon. It is a solution which is installed in every desktop, laptop and server. The capability of that particular solution is to detect the threat and prevent that particular threat. Detect and respond to the threat. That is the capability that tool has. Now what happened in Friday morning there was a new update was released from that particular vendor which is called Falcon from CrowdStrike which is installed in your system and what happened is that that solution so integrated with your Microsoft system I repeat Microsoft system that it your system got crashed and it lead to the blue screen of death now what is blue screen of death so blue screen of death is basically a critical error screen that appear when Windows cannot recover from a system error and it basically moved to the boot loop process. Now boot loop is basically a problem, problem that occur when computer or device is unable to complete its booting process and it continuously restart itself and that is why you can see the global outage. Okay, that's why we have a global outage and this is the major consequences of this event. Do let me know how do you find this video and uh, wait for my next part where I'm going to discuss about the countermeasure and if you find this particular thing useful, do share in your network. Thank you.